I would do anything just to get you back again. I would do anything at all. I know I'm not innocent. You deserve a better man. But let me just hold your hand once more. Good morning, YouTube. Joshua with SaltyScales.com. I'm bringing you something fresh, something new out here with Dean727 and Chris Canning. Y'all check out their pages if you get a, a second. Chris just got his butt busted. 0 for 2. I've hooked up. Josh is hooked up. I broke off almost instantaneously. Josh got hung up in the rocks. I need to get this guy dancing a little bit. by a gooper a big skyway gooper and we're out here this morning guys everything's working out nicely it's a thursday morning no traffic we got a new moon the only thing that's lacking right now is some reason this tide is extremely weak which we weren't anticipating and when i checked it they said that the tide was going to be coming in well the tide is going out so Sometimes you can't rely on those tide charts, guys. But anyhow, what we're doing today, a method of fishing is free lining, using heavy tackle, 80 to 100 pound braid, 80 to 100 pound uh, leader, big old eight out, 10 out hooks, depending on the bait size. And we're free lining or fly lining these baits to these big old grouper. So stay tuned, should be fun. So what I'm doing is I made a makeshift sabiki rig. And I'm using that goes to my little pyramid sinker and that's how I'm catching my baits guys using my little pissy fun phantom reel testing it out in the salt elements just like that tip it with little pieces of fresh shrimp look at this healthy pinfish boom shakalaka Beautiful. Oh no, oh no. Those little, they call them pinfish for a reason. Guys, take a look at that pig fish. That's grouper candy right there. We had some dolphins passing by. Hopefully they don't interrupt us here. If you cast right, right, straight, well, to the right of this pole, there's some nice rocks right out here in front, and they're closer, so maybe you'll get a better chance. Out. Well, the thing is, that rock pile is so far out there, we don't have no freaking tide, man. So you might not be getting to them. Oh, yeah. You're right in front of them. Oh! oh. <laughs> Already in the rocks? Jesus Christ. guys so Dean got his first Skyway uh, grouper free lining and uh, what happened was the tides in transition he casted out a pinfish he got stuck in the rocks he popped it a little bit come out of the rocks and boom up comes a 20 some odd inch grouper 
What do you think about that, Dean? That was fun. I mean, I've caught grouper, but I've never done it this way. I've actually never done this off the Skyway. I've done it close to the Skyway, but not here. I'm ready for you to get a Mogan. Oh, that was fun. That All was right. Fun. Chris, Chris thought he was in the rocks. He definitely wasn't in the rocks, guys. So now we got to fish out his rod. He's got a grouper on the other end. We got to get some heavier stuff going here. Exactly how far I was tossing it out. A little closer than that. I mean, you hit it with the GoPro. That's why I wanted to do that. So guys, we reviewed the GoPro footage and uh, me and Chris were able to actually hit his rod. Now I'm casting a treble hook right in the vicinity that we saw it on the film. Maybe we'll get the rod uh, in the fish. Up. Uh, it's a small one though. He's under the bridge. He's coming in. There he is, a little guy. <sighs> He's surfing. Oh, cook him up, Dean. <laughs> Belly flop, but they're pretty hardy, so he'll be all right. Look at him out there. <laughs> oh, he nailed that thing out there, guys. Oh no, he go. It went back down. Went back down. I won, Dean. I'm the winner of this chap. That ain't on the camera. Where's the good camera? Go grab. Grab it. I can't put that on my video. Might be a keeper, Chris. Grab my uh, measure stick out of the back of the truck, will you? All right, boys. He's coming up. It's pretty heavy. He may be a keeper. Oh, here he is. Not a monster, but I got him out of that rock he was in. Yeah, buddy. I'm trying to get this circle hook out of the corner of his mouth, guys, because it is in there. Check out this. What do y'all boys think about that? Not a bad little fish. All right, Chris. I don't think he's gonna be close. Fuck. Guys, he's only 22 and a half, almost 23 inches, so off he goes. All right, so Steph saved the day. She brought my cast net out, guys. We've spotted it one more time on my GoPro because Chris's GoPro died. He was gonna run off and leave it, but I don't give up. Let's do this, boys and girls. That damn wow. wind. The wind.
and just shut it, Chris. The wind shut the net. Yeah, it shut it right up. There's a new part of me. Part I want you to see. That's gotta get it, dude. I know. That's gotta get it. That was it. Yeah, but you see the casket drifting to the left a Just a little bit. You and him will never feel the baby do. I wanna take you out. Show you what I'm all about. So we love you. Make up for what we lost. I don't care about what has been. I only care about your soft skin. Cause we're still sleeping in my I don't care about you. I don't care about your soft skin. Cause we're still sleeping in my That's a wrap, guys. Holy smokes, it's been a long day. It's like 6 o'clock in the afternoon. All the guys abandoned me early. They couldn't handle the heat. But, hey, it was a crazy day, crazy start to the day. Overall, we got six hits. We caught three grouper. Chris lost his rod. Chris broke his GoPro and uh, the snatch hook. And also, the grouper was just a little short. I was gonna do a whole grouper catching cook, but they came in short today, guys. But I think overall, for not being there and doing that uh, free line technique in a couple years, I think it was a success. And uh, I don't know if Chris thinks so. <laughs> but hey. Give him hell, guys. Check out their channel, Chris Canning. Check out Dean, 727 Fishing, if you haven't already. Uh, good guys, local guys. And uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Comment below. Subscribe. Turn on them bell notifications. And until next time, I'll see you on the water.